Money can buy happiness, but it's usually a bad deal. It's often a ripoff. It's marketers who are trying to get us to believe that if we spend money on their product or their service, that we will somehow feel complete, that it will save us, that it will change our life. Sometimes it's true, once in a while. But notice that most of the times when you spend money, you get a satisfaction, a, a jolt of pleasure for a, a short time period. And then you were back to where you were, right? If you notice it, observe. Okay, most of the time you spend money, it's like that. You just go up and then you come back down. You go up, you come back down. So it's not the best deal. It's not, at least it's not as good of a deal as the marketers would have us believe. So one of the most important money skills, one of the best ways to grow your relationship in a healthy way with money, is to understand that there are better deals for happiness. I'll share some of them with you here. One is getting out into nature. Uh, I'm so lucky that there are parks um, not too far from where I live. It's anywhere from a 10 minute walk. It's within a 10 to 30 minute walk, there are plenty of parks to go visit. It's where I do these videos. So exercise, getting especially in nature, is really helpful to keep up happiness. So go for a hike, go to the beach, go to a forest, okay? Go to a lake if you have one nearby. Second way is spending time with people you love. S send a message to a friend. Say, hey, would love to get together with you. Send a message to a couple friends and see uh, who is available uh, to spend time with you this week. Or family members, or even just getting together on the phone or on FaceTime, you know. So spending time with people, it's typically free. Now, sometimes you go out with people, you spend money, but even actually social science has shown that the best ways of spending money in terms of happiness are two things. One is experiences with other people. Experiences especially with other people. And second is uh, spending money doing good to other people. So buying a thoughtful gift, giving to a charity you really believe in. So that's the second uh, thing I want to say is spending time with someone you love, a, a friend you enjoy. Send out some messages, see who you can hang out. Third one is... Um, reading a good book right reading a good book chances are you have some books at home you haven't had a chance had a chance so called to read well this is one of the best deals for happiness because you already have the book go ahead and read it or reread a book you enjoy great way to foster happiness fourth one is music you already have some music that you enjoy okay why not pull it back out and listen to it dance you know, especially if you, no one else is watching or if you have someone you live with who's happy to dance with you, dance with them, okay? But if not, dance by yourself, okay? Great way to, uh, to do that. And then fifth one is, I want to share, is um, uh, doing good for other people. Doing good for other people feels so good and it makes the world a better place. It's the best way of happiness that I know of. And one thing I invite you to do is to come into our community ourhighestwork.com slash community. Come in, meet some kindred spirits, see how you could help them, how you could support them, okay, just out of the love of your heart and see how it creates some happiness for you and some new friendships as well. So the next time you're presented with an offer that you must buy or else you can't be happy, take a pause and realize that it's probably a bad deal when it comes to happiness and find one of these other ways that I've presented and try that first. Until the next video, I wish you happiness.